Hi, this is Abhishek and let's talk about the iPads. Apple launched two new iPads at the end of September here in India, the iPad Air and the iPad 8 generation. Let's talk about the iPad Air first. The iPad Air gets whole new design and the new A14 Bionic which makes the iPad Air 40% more faster than its predecessor. The A14 Bionic is the same chip which is in the iPhone 12 and it is very capable. The only difference between the iPad Air and the iPad Pro is the ProMotion display, the 120Hz refresh rate display that Apple calls it the ProMotion. Apart from it, it still gets the whole new design influence from Apple, the whole boxy shape design, the flat edges and the industrial shape that we all love and that we have already seen on the iPhone 12 lineup and the iPad Pro as well. Well, it gets the same design and the edge to edge display which is really good on the iPad Air. The only difference is you don't get the high refresh rate display that is the new trend here in 2020. And it also comes with two new colors, green and sky blue, apart from the three colors that Apple offers onto their iPads. Now let's talk about the more affordable version of the iPad, the iPad 8 generation. And Apple is taking an approach of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it for the iPad 8 generation. But the only internal specification have been improved for the iPad 8 with the same design. But the internal specification, the A12 Bionic makes the iPad 8 more powerful or twice as powerful shall I say for with respect to its predecessor with the A12 Bionic. Let's talk about the iPad in general. With the coronavirus pandemic, all education institutes have turned towards the online classes. And the demand for all these devices for education purposes has been skyrocketed. iPad 8 generation could easily fill up the gap between a small screen smartphone and a big screen laptop. With a screen size of 10.7 inches, it is a very perfect and it is very similar to a high school textbook. With the multitasking have been improved on the iPad with the iOS 14, it is a very great device to take notes on and I do envy on people who use iPad for their education purpose because I was not able to use iPad for my education. We have to rely on the hardcore hardware text textbooks that we have to carry all over again and though those were also heavy but the iPad is what almost 500 grams it's very good device to carry on to. The iPad also has some major accessories with it, like the Apple Pencil. Now taking notes with the Apple Pencil is really easy on the iPad with the latest update of iPad OS 14. And there's also the Magic Keyboard update with trackpad. So you can use this iPad as a laptop replacement as well. This generation has the ease of taking notes with a pencil and also have the advantage of sharing it. Here are some note taking examples. At 54900 and 65900 with the Apple Pencil, the iPad Air is certainly a greater device for online learning. With the features of Apple Pencil, it is certainly a greater device than a similarly priced Windows laptop. But for most people, the iPad 8 generation which starts at 29900 and comes with an Apple Pencil at what 38900 it's certainly a better device for online learning when you compare it with similarly priced windows laptop that comes with dual core processor but certainly the ipad air and the ipad 8 generation both these devices are better for online learning than a laptop with the upcoming big billion day sale on flipkart and the great indian amazon sale take a look at the ipad's price points especially the previous generation iPads, the 7th generation iPad, which will come down to what, somewhere around 25,000 rupees. Apart from this, the newly launched official Apple's online store is also giving away good discounts on various devices. Well, all the links of the offers is in the description box, so you should go and check them out. If you're a student and you have an official photo ID, then I think you should take the advantage of student discount on the Apple's official online store. So either way, that's all about the iPad for education. If you find this video informative, then give it a like, share it with others who are seeking for a better option for their online e-learning programs and their online classes. Subscribe to the channel, it really helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.